Okay, so hi everyone. Um, I decided to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to make um, a nice thick washcloth. So um, I apologize in advance if you hear a kitty cat in the background. My daughter bought over her cat, so I'm a grandma for the day, which is kind of funny. So anyways, what you're going to need is all cotton yarn. What I have right now is peaches and cream yarn. I absolutely love peaches and cream yarn. Can you see that? Okay, I have this one. And then I'm just going to use up a bundle that I actually have already laying around. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors. Okay. And you'll need a 10 millimeter hook. Now you can do this with an 8 millimeter hook. And the results you're going to get are going to be a little bit tighter of a, of a stitch. So it all depends how you like... Um, your washcloths so you want them to be really close knit the 10 is still going to make a pretty close knit but the 8 is really woven in there so it's up to you I couldn't find my 8 millimeter hook today so I'm going to show you with the 10 but feel free to adjust it okay now um, there's no stitch counting in this which is really really nice because as wide as you're going to make it is as many rows as you're going to do so if you're chaining 20 you're going to make those 20 rows um, minus your starting chain so it's really, really simple, really, really easy. So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to open this yarn. Now, the neat thing about this is what we're doing is we're going to take two strings of yarn. Okay? Two strings of yarn together. And we're going to make a slip chain. Most of you know, already know how to make a slip chain. Wrap it around, pull through, and leave a nice little end to weave in. We're going to insert our hook, move our scissors out of the way, and then we're going to chain. Let's say I want these washcloths to be, oh, I don't know. Let's do 20 chains. Oops. Two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. We have our twenty chains. Okay, now we're going to go back on this chain and a half double crochet. I'll meet you back once you do a row. Let me show you real quick for those who don't know how to do a half double crochet. Yarn around the hook. And we're not even going to skip any chains. This is how simple it's going to be. We're not even going to do that step. So, except this first one, we're not going to that first one. Okay? Other than that, we insert. And then we take the yarn, yarn over, pull through, we have three loops on our hook, yarn over again, and pull through all three of them. Now it might be a little difficult at first because you got a big hook and you got all this yarn, and mine doesn't want to seem to be cooperating right now, but there you go. Yarn over and continue to do that across the row, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we're back at the end of that chain and we have all of our stitches and then we're just simply going to chain up one turn your work and go back along for 19 more rows and I'll meet you back I just wanted to say too to make sure that you go in each and every stitch the first stitch all the way along Okay. Okay, we're back. Um, I just wanted to show you, hopefully you guys finished your your project. Um, this is one that I had done earlier. Straighten that out a little bit. You can see it. And I decided to add a colorful little hook on mine because this particular one is going to be used for like a dish rag. So you can use these for dish rags or for washcloths, which is really lovely. Um, texturally, you can see 
how wonderful it looks. Look at that. They fold nicely. You can stack them up and wrap them in a set of three as a gift. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, definitely I'll be doing more of these crochet tutorials and just uh, some DIYs and such. I've had my channel for a while. I just haven't been very active, but I plan on changing that this year. So uh, if you desire, subscribe. And I promise to bring more fun uh, tutorials and uh, just different things you can do around the house to spice it up. Be self-sufficient. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Thank you.